In this part, uh, we are going to start doing simulation uh, for a single stage low noise amplifier. This is a very simple low noise amplifier for now. This is our first structure. We are uh, gonna go step by step, uh, talk about the biasing, stability, matching, and everything. So we are we are going to build actually a complete uh, low noise amplifier design. And uh, before we start, I would like to mention if you are not familiar with uh, ADS. Uh, I suggest you to take our ADS course because there are some stuff I'm gonna use here. Maybe I uh, I don't have time to mention them. So uh, you have to learn some basics about ADS tool and especially how to uh, install this software. How how you can have the PDK because we are going to use a transistor. Um, it's a 180 nanometer transistor. You have to learn how you can get this PDK from Keysight Technologies. So that's why you have to take our previous course. Uh, I'm not going to cover these topics here. So let's imagine uh, our start is here. We have our PDK and software. We have everything uh, uh, we need. So we are going to start from this point. So let's see what we have here. Uh, actually here I'm trying to build my two port network. So as you see, this is my uh, input port. Uh, my ZS is 50, my ZL is 50. So I'm trying to uh, basically uh, adjust my two port network. Uh, we are going to find our max gain and uh, minimum noise figure from this structure. So uh, basically what we have as our two port network is this one, I'm going to show it. So uh, what I have here is basically, uh, you can imagine this, you can imagine this is your uh, basically two port network here and it's like 50 50 so uh, from this system we are going to find our uh, minimum noise figure and max gain and st set our stability so if you remember in the previous course we have always uh, defined some S parameter here but now we are going to uh, change our S parameters by changing the structure in order to get the uh, basically desirable values, desirable results. So I'm starting from here. Uh, this is, uh, first of all, I'm going to, this is the basically method. You, you use a DC block at the input because you want to bias your transistor. So that's why you have to decouple this bias point from the input. That's why we use DC block. Because basically, this DC block is a very high value uh, capacitor that only uh, passes the AC signal, but there is no DC because the DC at this point is zero. So you want to decouple this and this two node, and you just have the bias. You're using DC feed. The DC feed, we don't have to, uh, we don't want to have uh, any AC coming from this point because if you directly connect this, let's say I just remove this one and uh, basically connect to my gate, I'm going to have a DC voltage always here. That's why I have to uh, AC couple this time. So uh, this time basically decouples, this decouples my AC. It means that if this is a very high value inductance and uh, we, we call it DC feed, you can find it in uh, components. So uh, if you go to the palette and uh, from the, the uh, com lumped components, you can find it here, DC feed. Uh, so it means that in high frequency, uh, let's say one gigahertz, this this is going to be open. So basically, we we don't care about the other part. This is just for doing the bias. And I'm calling this. I use a DC source, which is a VDC. I call it uh, VGG. You can uh, find it on uh, basically. You can find it under source frequency domain here, VDC. So uh, the same way I'm going to bias my uh, bias the transistor drain with the DC fit, but later we are going to see actually this is uh, this is going to be our inductor here because if you remember we said that we have LD here, so uh, this can't be this uh, inductor can't be a very high value. We just this is a kind of method of design. First of all, you have to get your uh, free initial values. Again, another DC plug in order to decouple this point from this so DC, DC decouple. So we are decoupling. So if you have this term 50 here, this is going to pull current. We don't want to have this one. So uh, we just want to separate the DC of output, this uh, drain node to separate the DC uh, from this uh, 50 ohms DC. So DC at this point is going to be zero, but here we have a DC because we have to bias our transistor. 
For our transistor, I'm going to uh, go to the PDK. If you have the PDK, GPDK 180, you can um, uh, pick NMOS RF, this one. Uh, it's NMOS RF. And uh, don't forget to use uh, the this one, GPDK Netlist. So if you see this on the top, um, you can just uh, drag and use it here. I'm going to activate. So this is a, if you don't use, it's not going to work. You have to use this. So I, for now, I define like values VDD 1.8 and VGG 0.8 for my transistor. And um, you can use, uh, you can use DC for just seeing what is happening in DC. As an initial point, I'm going to start from somewhere. You can imagine this is your unit size. So uh, you're going to play around with the values. I'm going to put, uh, I'm going to pick the multiplier to be two. Um, the, and the total width, so the, the finger width is 1.8, the length is 180. Now, no, we always use the minimum length in RF design because, because we don't want to increase our capacitance, so we always use minimum lengths. Uh, the finger width is going to be like this, and total width is going to be finger width times finger. So, as you see, finger width is a single, this is the width of single finger for your transistor. So the width of single finger is 1.8 micro. So if we have 10 fingers, the total width is going to be 10 times finger width is, is 18 micro. Thank you for watching our video. Please don't forget to subscribe. You can learn about this topic and more using our website. The complete course on this topic is provided on our website at www.rahsoft.com. Rasoft is providing a complete certificate on radio frequency. The courses are complete step-by-step -step approach with quiz and examples and certificate of completion will be provided upon finishing each course. By taking the required courses in RF system and IC design with pass status, Rasoft would provide the Rasoft radio frequency certificate. Thank you. See you soon.